News from China. August 12, 2023. According to a report on the 10th, following U.S. President Biden's signing of the executive order on investment restrictions on China, the U.K. government is considering whether to follow suit and is consulting with its own business and financial professionals on this matter. A spokesperson for UK Prime Minister Sunak stated that President Biden's executive order outlines how the US will handle investments in sensitive technologies related to China. The UK government will carefully consider these measures and continue to assess foreign investments that may pose national security risks to the UK. According to a US official quoted on the 10th, the United States has reached a preliminary agreement with Saudi Arabia on the general framework of the latter's normalization of relations with Israel. According to U.S. officials, if this agreement is ultimately reached, Saudi Arabia will recognize Israel, and in exchange, Israel will make concessions to Palestine. The United States specifically imposes conditions on Saudi Arabia regarding its relationship with China, including military and economic restrictions, aiming to limit Saudi Arabia's ties with China. The U.S. expects Saudi Arabia to ensure that China does not establish military bases in the region. They are also calling for restrictions on the use of technologies developed by the Chinese company Huawei in Saudi Arabia. In addition, when exporting oil to China, Saudi Arabia must ensure settlement in U.S. dollars rather than Chinese yuan. U.S. President Biden, during a political fundraising event on Thursday local time, said that China is facing difficulties due to economic and population issues and could potentially become a time bomb for other regions in the world. He also stated, when bad guys have real problems, they tend to do bad things. These remarks have been extensively reported by U.S. media, with Bloomberg describing it as one of the most direct criticisms by Biden against major geopolitical and economic competitors of the U.S. to date. Given the highly toxic anti-China sentiment prevailing in U.S. society, it has become one of the cheapest ways for politicians to quickly attract attention by making tough statements against China, and President Biden is no exception. Based on past experiences, as the election campaign progresses, the limits in Washington will continue to be lowered, and it is likely that even more sensational statements will emerge. This video was created using Pictory, an amazing AI-powered video maker, you'll find a 20% off promo code in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and follow the Eli CN News channel.